Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. In this video, we are going to learn the process of generating GST e invoice without API. Before generating e invoice, you need to do some settings. In the main menu, go to Reports and Queries, Sale Reports, and then GST Reports. Click on Configuration. Now go to GST e Invoice tab. Here we will set the values in all of the columns. Carefully look at the settings of each of these values. Says columns have not been defined here. You can define the values as per your requirement. Kindly pause the video wherever required to note down the settings of each value. Let us look at the last step before generating e-invoice. Go to set up new account. Search that party, the e-invoice of whose bill you are going to generate. Go to other details. The fields marked in red are mandatory fields. This means that the e-invoice will not be generated if any of these fields have not been defined. So first country, first state, first city, address 1, 2, 3, in code, contact number, sale nature, GST registration type, GST number, GST state, state code, PAN number, and email address should be defined. Also make sure, that you have entered the GST number of your company here, in case of no branch system. But in case you have branching system, then go to set up branches and enter the GST number of the branch from where you have to generate e-invoice. Also enter all other details. After all the settings have been done, we will now generate an e-invoice. In the main menu, go to Reports and Queries, Sale Reports, GST Reports, then generate GST e-invoice. Select the document type from the drop-down list. Then select the document from the search list. You can select as many documents as needed. Here we have selected only one sale bill. Sale bill has been selected. Click on Refresh. Then, click on Prepare JSON. JSON file has been created at the path displayed here. Let us go to the displayed path of JSON file. One JSON file will be created whether you have selected one document or multiple documents. Here it is. Now go to the government portal website, Goods and Service Tax e-invoice login. Enter the required details and log in to your account. Click on e-invoice and go to bulk upload. Browse the JSON file that we just created. Then click on upload. Invoice has been successfully uploaded. In case of multiple documents, all of them will be uploaded with just one JSON file. You can now download signed JSON, Excel or print PDF files according to your needs. Here we have downloaded the Excel file.
Now go to allocate GST e invoice number to voucher. Click on Retrieve from Excel and browse the Excel file from your system that we just downloaded from the e-invoice portal. Then click on Refresh. All the details such as IRN, acknowledgement number and date have been automatically picked. You also don't need to attach the QR image separately with each voucher. When you retrieve the details from Excel sheet, the QR images get automatically attached with their respective vouchers. So, Retrieve from Excel option helps you to quickly allocate the e-invoice number to voucher when you have to prepare multiple e-invoices. Do not forget to save the details. Let us finally look at the printing of bill in the software. You can see the QR code that we attached with the bill. You can also see the acknowledgement number, date, and IR number that we had allocated. Let us go to the design of this printing. These are the fields of each of the three details. The configuration for QR image is as displayed here. Thank you for watching this video. For more software related updates, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon.